Just received another box from Puerta. Let's go ahead and check it out what comes inside this box. This is the Puerta's remote ES kit for electric skateboard. It's compatible with 24 volt and 36 volt batteries. Compatible with all these hub motors. Remote cable for the remote, wire for the remote, and power button. Now this is a very compact dual motor ESC compared to the old version. It's a bit smaller, so you have more room in your enclosure. You see, all the electronics are covered with rubber to protect them from water and dust. And it's very simple to set up. All you gotta do is plug all the wires into the ports on the ESC. Here are the motors I unboxed last time. Well, I guess you guys may recognize those motors. I've been using those motors for several years. They are quiet, smooth, power saving, and durable. Actually, these motors are from the same factory as those ones. These are the upgrade version with higher top speed and swappable strips. This is a dual motor set, so we've got two phase wires and two sensor wires. These two connectors are for one motor, and these two are for the other motor. The biggest connector is for the battery. This port down here is for the power button. The one in the middle is for the battery indicator. And the smallest one is for the LED driver. And it's already got an area with some adhesive, so you can build it up and put it on the case where you want it to sit. This ESC is customizable, but only for the manufacturer. This is customized for Puerta, and it's not programmable for the users. But luckily, you can switch between 4-speed modes and 4-braking modes with this remote. Okay, let's pair it to the ESC first. Turn on the ESC, hear the beep? Yeah, it has pushed start. Of course, you could also use this power button here to turn it on. Then don't press this power button until the light begins to flash. Now turn on the remote. Then press these two buttons at the same time. They are paired, pretty easy. And you'll see the odometer, speedometer, the remote battery level, the board's battery level, and different motors show up on the screen. The throttle wheel feels good, feels much more precise than the old throttle stick. You push forward, go forward, and pull back to brake. You can switch different speed modes using this function button. We've got speed mode 1, 2, 3, 4. Speed mode 3 and 4 will give you the same top speed, but the acceleration is extremely strong on speed mode 4. You've got to be really careful. It took me about 4.5 seconds from 0 to 20 miles per hour when I was on the board. And speed mode 1 is a bit slower than those which have only 3 speed modes. It's very easy to ride for beginners and experienced riders. You could also change the speed of each speed mode by pushing the throttle again while riding. I usually ride at speed mode 2, that's about 17 miles per hour when I was on the board. And if I want to speed up a little bit, I just I just push the throttle again, it goes a bit faster each time I push. But you know, if I switch to speed mode 3, it will get to 30 miles per hour when I go full throttle. That's way too fast, I don't want that speed. So in this way, I can choose the speed between speed mode 2 and 3. I really like this feature while riding. Especially when I'm going uphill and the speed drops rapidly. It's a lot easier to push the throttle again than hit this function button. The other great feature I like about this remote is cruise control. When you're holding the acceleration, no matter what speed you are riding, tap on the power button, you are gonna be in the cruise control mode. It's cruising, you don't need to do anything. Either push or brake or stop it. For braking mode, just hold on the brakes, then press this function button. We've got brake mode 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 is the strongest. It took me about 2.5 seconds from 20 to 0 miles per hour. The brakes are strong but also very smooth. I mean, they are gradual, so you don't jerk forward when you stop braking, but it adds more pressure the longer you brake. This is also the LED button. Press and hold this button for 2 seconds, you'll turn the lights on. Two of these lights were also fresh when you brake. I, I really like this feature. The board looks way better at night than if you have no lights at all. Tap on the power button twice, it will switch between forward and backward. Personally, I don't like this. I like the switch at the sides, control forwards and backwards. But it's not a big deal, I don't go backwards that much. 
If you want to change the remote from kilometers power to miles power, start with the remote power off, then press these two buttons at the same time, then push the throttle. You could switch between kilometers power and miles per hour. You could also set your wheel speed here. Speed 64 is for 100 millimeter motors. These are 90 millimeter motors. You need to set it to 57. You know the series of these motors are swappable. If you upgrade your wheels to 105 millimeter, you need to set it to 67. Okay, that's it for today's video. It's really easy for anyone to build an electric skateboard. Get yourself a deck, get yourself an enclosure. You are really ready to go. Uh, by the way, you still need a heat sink for this ESC when you mount it on the enclosure. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like and comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.